Hello and welcome to my channel. Last week I was zooming around in some boxes and I came across some really old hard drives and some old advanced Photoshop tutorials that I'd bought when Photoshop was version 7. And I've only managed to get a few out of them. And then all of a sudden, take a look at this. I'm going to show you how you can recreate a version of that and the best thing is we're going to do it all in Photo Director. Let's take a look. Yes, we're in creative mode and now we're dipping our toes into some advanced techniques in Photo Director because I'm going to try to recreate something from Photoshop with the things that they had back then that we still don't have in Photo Director. I'm Harvey Roberts, this is Permanent Tourist in Helsinki, and today we're going to create some surreal artwork. You'll need three photographs, you'll need a paint peeling picture, you'll need some kind of metallic picture, and you'll need some kind of vector art, black and white, and you'll need someone's picture <laughs> to, to put it on. <laughs> As always, watch out for tips and tricks throughout the video tutorial because there are a few in this one. Let's open up Photo Director. Let's create some surreal artwork. So in Photo Director's launcher, let's click on Edit, go to our Expert level, go to the top left on our file here, Create Empty Project. I'm going to name this Surreal. I'm going to leave the size at the same as it is, but I'm going to change the background to a solid color, leave it at white. Click OK. We got our first layer. Double click the name here, layer one, and change this to background. Like so. So let's bring in our face that we're going to use. So on the top left here, this little circle with a plus sign on this circle, this square with a plus sign on it. And add a photo layer from folder. I'm going to bring in this eyes, absolutely beautiful picture, wonderful. It's already named it eyes JPEG, so we're going to leave that. So I'm going to bring in our second picture. With the plus sign, add a photo layer from folder. And I'm going to bring in this peeling paint. Now this is what I'm going to use for the texture for her skin. Now it's rather large at the moment, so I'm going to just resize this down with these men. Now if yours doesn't have this on the right hand side in our tools menu here the second one down is the pick and move tool click it once and then you'll get these little nodes that you can transform like so I'm going to just drop it down just about somewhere there I think is a nice position and I'm going to move it across to about there. Now take note, see it's, it's darker here and lighter in the center. I don't want this bit. Now if you, you want to see how it looks, drop the opacity down here on the left hand side above, just above the layers. Drop it down to about 20% like so and then you can see how it's going to look. Now you see I've got this little dark area here and it's that is exactly how I'd like it to look. I don't want it to be too too much otherwise it's it's just not working so use your own way of looking whatever paint photograph you're using picture here now I'm going to cut this I'm going to take half of this away right across the nose right down here I'm going to take this bit away altogether and to do that we go to our tools menu and we use the third one down which is the select the area tool so click it once in the rectangular selection here, you can see we have this rectangle, Make click it once and then drag from outside where you want it to go like so. And I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom and then right center, somewhere like that. So it leaves it very symmetrical there. Release our mouse button and you get this red mask here. Now to delete this, go onto the right hand side and right here on operation, you can see here this is scissors, click it once gone and control D on our keyboard to remove the mask excellent job now go over to our layers here to this peeling paint layer right click this and duplicate now I tried doing this with the mat with the shortcut keyboard shortcuts control X control C and control V and for some reason 
it crashed the program. So I'm gonna go to duplicate. Try it if you, if you so wish to try the keyboard, but duplicate is one that always works. So while you've duplicated it, go above our picture on the right hand side here. You can see this magnifying glass. And then this one here, if you click this little arrow here, and it says flip selection. Now, if you flip it horizontally, you'll flip both pictures. We don't want that. So flip selection, which is this one layer, like so. Go back into our tools menu and click on the second one down the pick and move tool. And let's just move it across like so. There, now bring back up the opacity like so. Click on the one underneath, bring its opacity back up as well. So you can see them both click back on the top one. It doesn't really matter which one you're going to use. Now I've selected the, this and, and they've locked into position and it says there's these little lines that turned up and said it's perfect. Well, it's not perfect. I can see a very faint line right down the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this across just a few pixels. And to do that, you're going to press and hold your control key. And while it's pressed and you're holding it, use your right arrow key or left arrow key, whichever you're using, and just move it. And it moves it one pixel. And I'm going to do it one more time because I can still see it there. And release it. Control key. And now it's perfect. So now we go over to our layers and make sure your control is pressed and click both these pictures so they're both selected like so right click either one it doesn't matter go down to merge and merge selected which means it merges both these and puts them onto its own layer like so so now we have this on its own layer very interesting so now we've got our effect for our skin now we can't right click this and apply a clipping mask because it won't clip the mask to the skin it doesn't do that so what we need to do is a different way so make sure this is selected and go to our blending mode just above it here click on it and go all the way down scroll this down and go all the way down to the bottom and you'll see lightness and click on lightness and it changes it so it's this it goes to the, to the color of the skin underneath and you'll get these you can see where the eyes are here on the picture so all we need to do now is drop down the opacity to about 20 percent like so now change the opacity to how you prefer it if you can go higher 25 looks good 30 if you go too much it gets a bit too yeah it's not it's not working but, but it's, it's entirely up to you i'm just showing you this how i prefer it i like it at 20 percent that looks good now to, to put this onto the skin rather than deleting this out let, we're going to paint this on the skin and to do that we need a mask so click on the top left here, add mask, this square with a circle inside it, click it once. Right click on this mask here and click invert layer mask. Simple, right? Now all we do is we just paint on the skin. So go to our tools menu and the fourth one down is the pen tool. Change it to a brush in the select tool option. I've got a size 34, which is a little bit small. So I'm going to increase this up to about 100 like so and I'm going to increase the opacity to about 75 maybe 75 may, may be good and I'm going to just paint on the skin I'm going to try to avoid the eyelashes the eyebrows and and I'm going to be careful around the nose so all you do then is while the mask is selected just paint on the skin now if it's not seeing anything check your color you need to have black changed to white Otherwise, it's not going to work. See that? And now I'm painting. And if I choose black, like so, we can get rid of it. So if we go on somewhere we don't like, we can do that. So make sure your color is white. And you'll see you'll just have two colors. Now, if you see a lot of colors here, you're not using in your layers palette here. You're not using the mask. So be, watch out for that. So mask, choose white and just paint. All around now it doesn't matter if you go over on a on the hair it doesn't matter because we're going to redo it and paint it back so let's just be careful of the eyebrows and go like this and just paint around until you get it just as you want it 
just avoid the eyes basically and and just go all around like this and i'm going to be careful around the nose like so and here i'm going to be careful all around the skin now i do have a wacom tablet and i, I prefer to use that than this but for this tutorial i'm using my mouse so you can see it's pretty easy to do like so and then just and now that we got to the nose part, I'm going to drop the opacity down just a touch more to about, let's say, 70% because I want to keep that white, that little shine on, on the side of a nose there. And, and, I'm, and the little bit of darkness here, I want to keep that because it adds, it doesn't, so it doesn't make the picture look flat is basically what we're trying to do here. Which is pretty cool at that. I, I'm quite happy with that. That is not too bad at all. Now I'm going to delete, I'm going to turn this to black and I'm going to delete because it's gone onto ears. I don't want the ears to be done. So I'm going to change my color here. I'm going to change it to black. Click OK. And I'm just going to repaint and just get rid of some of this that's overly done here. So let's go to the hair as well because that's going to be over as well. I'm going to drop the brush size down to about 30, 40, let's have a look, see, 40 looks good. Drop the opacity to about 35. And just generally click and drag a few clicks like this where you see it, because basically hair is kind of like see-through. So you, you, you're you gonna be able to see parts of the skin through the air. So you don't want to just brush it all away too much. That is looking pretty cool, to be honest. And I'm gonna just, a few pieces here like this. And there we go. And that is how I got, we get the color, the, the pattern now onto the skin. That is really looking good. I like that. So the next thing we need to do, of course, now is bring in our pattern that we're gonna put on around the eyes. So when you, once you're happy with that you've done your skin area, Go to the top above your layers to this little plus sign here, the left square, add a new layer mask. Photo layer from folder. And I'm going to choose in my effect art, which is this wonderful picture here. Now, I'm, we need to remove the white. I don't want that there. So to remove the white, we go onto our tools menu, the third one down, select the area tool and go into the rectangle selection area. And you'll see this little brush one here, the magic wand. Click it once. Click here on anywhere on the white, like so, and you'll it'll choose all the white area that you want. Now to get rid of this, on the right hand side here it says operation, and you'll see the scissors. Click the scissors once, gone. Control D on your on your keyboard, and we've got rid of it. Now to resize this, second one down on the tools menu, pick a move tool like so, and then click on the node and resize it and we're going to place this right over the eye now be careful that you don't go over too outside and i want to try to keep it above the eyebrow as well so now that i've got it kind of centered where i'd like it to be i'm going to drag on this side on this node and i'm going to bring this down so it's right about there is a very very nice area and we're going to do exactly the same now that we did earlier. So while this is selected, right click this, duplicate it, go to the top here and flip it, selection horizontally like so. And then we're just going to move it across and let it snap into position. Now this has got a slight gap like, uh, like we did earlier with the, with the pattern, but I'm going to leave that now because I like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click both of these layers, the, these vector layers. Use my control key, keep it pressed, click both. So they're both selected, right click and merge selected. So now we've got our facial thing mask that we're going to on. Now don't worry about this, about the air. We're going to take care of that a little bit later. What we need to do now is mess around with this and have some fun with this. So. On that layer that you've just created now, this vector layer, click on the FX here. And now we can start messing around with this. So the top one is bevel and emboss one. Now we need to use that first. So let's bevel and emboss it. Open this up. 
Now we're using a blending mode of screen. I'm going to use the normal. We've got a direction up, which is nice. Now, remember the light source, it's a little bit darker here and a little bit lighter on this side of the face, on the left hand side of the face. So our light source is perfect. Blending or shadow is multiplying, leave that like that. And the style inner bevel. Now, if you change the if you change inner bevel to outer bevel and M bar, so you get some pretty cool effects. So by checking our outer bevel, you can see you get some really, really cool effects, which we're not using in this tutorial at the moment. So keep our style to inner bevel, like so. And we're going to keep everything else. Size is at 10. We can increase the size just a touch now because you can see it's got this uh, on the on the you've got this little line and I want to increase that so I'm going to increase my bevel the size to 20% when I can get it to 20% that's better and the depth is going to stay at about let's see what happens with depth it's very little it's very subtle let's drop the, that to 20 as well and we can soften it and you can see it changes it's the subtle changes and it's Try them yourself, see what you, yours comes up with. I'm going to leave that 2020 and the light source like it is. Light altitude, I'm going to leave it at 45. I'm going to close this up now. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add in a inner glow. Let's see what that looks like. Look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to change that out now. I'm going to change the color that it is here from this pure white I'm going to change it to orange which is really nice look at that and I'm going to darken it all right down something about there and I'm going to try to make it look something like that is what I'm looking for that is really nice because it's matching her skin tones I'm going to click OK so we've got our color set up nice and I'm going to drop the opacity down to about 75%. It's got softer on edge. Now we can mess around with the choke and you can see it makes some, it's got some really nice subtle differences to it on the choke. Take the choke to about 50. And then you can mess around with the size if you so wish. The size is subtle so I'm going to just add just a touch in to about let's say 20. It keeps a little bit of the, the darker color in there as well. That is very nice. I like that. So I'm going to close that up now. And the last one we're going to have is our drop shadow. Now we're going to change the drop shadow. Click on it, open it up. I'm going to change the drop shadow to make it look like it's rusted. So it's like it's actually colored onto a face. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is change its color. So go to color, change it to orange. And now you can see what it looks like. And we want to change it so we get the same, almost like the same color that we had, but not a little bit lighter. So it, it can just drop it down like so. That looks nice. I like that. I'm going to click OK. And now we're going to change its distance so we can bring it right underneath the mask about there. And that 10 is good. I'm going to change the spread to 10. And I'm going to leave the size at 10 and I'm going to drop the opacity down just a bit to about 80 like so. Light source is the same as it was before which is very nice and there we have our little element on her face. Go to the bottom right hand side and click OK. How cool is that? That is absolutely brilliant. So now we're going to add our last picture into this element here so go to the left hand side to a little plus maker add a, another layer add our photo layer from the folder and the last one we're going to use of course is this metal texture i'm going to bring this in like this make sure on the right hand side you pick and move tool is selected and i'm just going to rotate this one time like that and now it's still covered and i'm going to bring it down and it's still covering so our element that we've put on her face. Now right on the bottom right hand side here you'll see this little plus sign here, uh, this little OK sign. Click it once, once you've rotated it. And now we can drop the opacity down and you can see it's going to work absolutely brilliant. I like that. That is just where it needs to be. Now this one we can actually right click it. So right click the metal texture 
and just add a, a clipping mask and it will clip it right on to our element. That is amazing. <laughs> How cool is that? Click on your brush tool so it gets rid of the bounding box. And there you have your absolutely superb facial element. Now, we want to change the color. So I don't want to change the color of this anymore, but I want to change the facial color. So go to the your picture that you've chosen here. Make sure it's selected. And go up to the top here and this add adjustment layer. Click it once and I'm going to go down to this color lot it says here and click it. And now you get all these lots that you can choose from. This is the default. Now I kind of like cyberpunk it, um, <laughs> and they're very attractive. They're very nice. And, and I'm going to change it to this darker gray here like it's a, a, and it, it kind of maintains the eyes and it makes everything look just wonderful i'm going to click ok i'm going to go back and look at that <laughs> so now what we need to do of course is now the finishing touches is the air on the element we, we need to brush the air over the element so make sure our vector is chosen right here Click on the mask at the top, make sure the mask is selected, go to our pen tool, we've got our brush, remember black and white, black reduces, white brings it back in, however we haven't inverted this so we're going to use black. Choose a brush, I'm going to use my brush at, at 40, was that? that's a good colour and I'm going to drop the opacity to 30 and then all you need to do is just quickly click and just drag just gently over the element and it will just softly hide it under the air like so a few times like this click and drag click and drag and that is how to bring the air back over our element so it looks actually looks like it's underneath what we're doing on the air and just make sure you get all of it like so click and drag click and drag and the reason we click and drag in as well is because then we can if we go a little bit too much we can actually bring it back or we can change the color and bring it white and bring it back but that is looking really nice I'm going to just a few more pieces here just to hide them out a little bit I'm just going to click them like so and there we are. That is our perfect image. Now, if you want to change the eye color as well, uh, you can't do that really here. So you need to save this as a PNG file. So go this file at the top here and save as, save it as a PNG file. I'm gonna save mine in pictures. I'm gonna call it Surreal. Click on save. And there we go. Now all you need to do now is go into Organize and Adjust. Adjust the library. Do you want to add the photos? Now I'm going to click No. And I'm going to bring in our file here. Click on Import Photo from a local drive where it was. Mine was in Pictures. Here it is, like so. Let's just zoom in a little bit on this picture, like so, so we can get to the eyes. On the tools menu on the right hand side you'll see this little circle right at the end you want to click it once like so and then just drag over the right from the center of the eye just drag it open like this now you can see the whole picture goes red because you need to invert it so I'm going to drag it and I'm going to reposition it somewhere like that so make sure it's selected and make sure it's all red like that and right underneath where the circle is, you can see here, you've got this delete and then this one, it says invert the mask. So that's gonna invert our mask and now it's red, like so. Now we can't two masks, you can't have two. So while that's selected, go to temperature and just change its color. Drag it to the left, you get blue, drag it to the right, you get yellow, see that? <laughs> do other things with it as much as you like, whatever you want to do with it. Click on the mask here again, click on new and drag another one. 
like this. Now the color now is blue because it's a different mask. I'm going to do that and I'm going to change it Just there. Click it once so I can see it. Invert it on the right hand side so it's inverted and drag that. Now you can do a, a David Bowie effect and click on that and have that one yellow. I'm going to keep mine as blue. They're so cool. And then just click on the tool again and there you go. Let's just zoom out and there you have your image. How very cool. How cool was that? I hope you've given it a try and come up with something very, very cool yourself. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, please consider subscribing. Give us a like, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload new content. Go check out my channel for all things Cyberlink and more. That's my rant for today. Have a great day. Stay safe, people.